Hey everybody, I've been meaning to do a video like this for a little while, and with everything that's been happening with Halo, I figured now would be the perfect time to do it. In today's video, we have a look at what the corporate executives, Paramount themselves, and high ups at 303 are currently thinking about Halo Infinite. I'll have all my sources in the description below if you'd like to go check them out yourself. At the end of the day, you can make your own mind up, but I thought this was very interesting, so let's get into the video. So we will start with Jez Corden. Now Jez Corden leaked all of the Halo Infinite Battle Royale information. So he's very reliable as an info source for all things Halo. Jez was asked, would it be feasible to get any comment from the higher ups at Microsoft slash 343 about the current state of Halo and what they plan for the franchise long term? And Jez says they put out some lengthy videos about the topic. They probably only give me reiterations of what's in those videos. However, privately, some high ups have spoken are confident in the content slate that is coming and the situation will get better in season three as 343 have stated themselves. Couple things to break down about this. Number one, I do think the game will get better. It will get better over time. MCC was an absolute dumpster fire and now it's a really good game. We have the Battle Royale coming out too and we'll have the three month seasons. This probably means nothing is going to change in terms of Halo, at least not for the moment. And I know a lot of you guys are going to say that Halo as a franchise has been mishandled. Which leads me on to my next point, the Paramount Plus TV show. In a recent article, the executives over at Paramount said Halo is extremely franchisable. Now, if there was one thing above all else that I think was mishandled, it was the Halo TV show. Halo Reach, Reach City, I mean, come on, all of Quan Ha's storyline, I won't go into too many details because we've already spoken about the TV show many times, but Paramount has said they have high hopes for Halo following the premiere of its first season, even going as far to say it sees it as a franchise. You know guys, maybe, just maybe, if the Halo TV show is successful, we might get a video game out of it. They are correct that Halo is massive, and handled correctly, has potential to be one of the largest gaming franchises in the world. Oh wait, it was the largest gaming franchise back in 2007. <laughs> and when you compare what made Halo popular back in 2007, Halo Infinite is missing a lot of those key features. I've said it to death, social features, weekly rotational playlists, a proper progression system, custom games browser, a theater system and file sharing system that is robust and allows people with ease to share their creations. Halo 3 was so far ahead of anything else, even to this day. So my predictions for Halo's future as a franchise are this. 343 will release the winter update with Forge. People will be really happy for Forge. It's a powerhouse of a feature and a lot of unique things are going to be created. However, not much is going to change in terms of population until the big battle royale comes out. I would expect 343 to make an announcement about the battle royale at some sort of big gaming conference next year. And people have said it may come out at the end of next year. The Halo TV show will release its second season. Let's hope they take some of our feedback on board for the second season. However, the most exciting thing for Halo in the future is the MCC mod tools. People are going to be crafting full campaign missions, unique experiences that have never been seen before. Things that are going to rival the original trilogy in depth. Brand new multiplayers, remasters, full teams of modders, creating amazing content for the future. So guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. It was a lot to talk about today. What I wanna hear from you guys today is what do you think is going to happen to Halo in the future? And what do you hope will happen to Halo in the future? I look forward to reading your comments down below, but thank you all for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys later.